Hey folks, so we have a uh, monster week this week uh, in terms of the markets really around the FOMC meeting. So the uh, Fed uh, is going to meet for the month of September and, and that's really going to dictate, I think, how, how risk assets could trade uh, going forward here for some for some time. The, the Fed, for the most part, is kind of behind the curve. Um, the Fed funds rate is above uh, most other rates, which is not exactly you know, normal quote unquote normal and, and I I personally think the Fed's gonna cut a lot more than people think over time, not necessarily all at once now in September. And so um, if you've been following this uh, these videos or you've been or if you're a paying member, um, you know that we remain very bullish bonds, but you know we are we're also very concerned about the rally in bonds over the over the past month and a half and we said they're overbought. So let me give you guys a bit of an update and just quickly update you on what we're doing here into the Fed so you can kind of contextualize this. Um, so first of all, just for a little bit of context, here is our here is our chart of of, um, of bond prices. So you look at the longer term chart. Let me get this straight here. You look at the longer term chart of um, uh, of uh, of bond prices of longer term bond prices. You can see we reached the upper end of these uh, of this range here. Uh, in let's see here when that was that specifically that was in early August and we said that it's record overbought not only from a price perspective but also from a momentum perspective if you look at momentum down here 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 and here it lined up also all these tops lined up with major spikes in momentum well if we zoom a little closer into this chart now you can see that we have in the meantime this is on the weekly chart we have pulled back quite a bit. We do remain very overbought on the weekly momentum, but you go into the daily chart and you start to see that we are um, certainly coming off in terms of momentum and we are slowly but surely moving into this channel again. I don't know exactly how much lower bond um, prices can go before they become a better buy, but we did uh, over the past... Um, two days, start buying a little bit of this again, specifically the um, TLT ETF. We did an options trade on this, but you know, basically it's quasi being long the TLT. And um, we do think ultimately that um, the bond price will continue to go higher, which means that bond yields would con continue to, uh, to go lower over time. In fact, I personally think bond yields in the U.S. will go towards zero over the course of the next year and a half, two years. But um, that may be a bit more information for another video. For right now, just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on this uh, as we head into the Fed. Hope it helps. If you like it, give us a like down below. Or if you have any comments or questions, this is really, really important as it relates to, you know, really risk assets across the world, particularly U.S. risk assets. So if you have any questions around this stuff, uh, let us know and um, we'll try to answer them. Take care.